Attention recruits, be sure to hit your like and subscribe buttons for future upcoming videos. Be sure to place a comment down below. Due to a mistake at the quartermasters, tonight's dinner's rice. That is all. Guten Tag recruits. Today, with cooking with Hans, uh, correction, with cooking with Hans. Cooking with Hans is another boat. Okay. Today we are making dango. If you don't know what that is, it is a rice dumpling. It comes from Japan. It's been around for several hundred years. It was uh, first made at a tea shop in Kyoto. Mm -hmm. Originally made for uh, temple ceremonies, offerings, that sort of thing. Right here, I've already got the rice flour in here. There's a uh, Glutinous and non-glutinous. So I had to mix them both together. The only thing we need to make it is hot water. And also we're going to be making a sauce with soy sauce and sugar and water. Very simple. Not complex, but easy to make. And it would be fun for the kids. All right? So, let's get started. So, all I do is just add some water. Don't add a lot at first. Right now I'm just using some. I can always add a little more. I got like four cups in here of flour. Two of one type, two of another. Ah, I hear the recruits barking outside. One of their friends is showing up. Okay, well, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And press that like button for future videos. Okay, now that we got the water mixed in, we're going to knead it for a little bit. And then roll it out into coils and cut them about one inch and a half about one inch part, but maybe a little more. Okay. Once you've rolled your dough out into a coil, cut it into one inch to one inch half pieces, then roll into a ball. Okay, now I got the dumbbell boiling when they're when they pop up, they'll be completely done. Then you put them on a skewer and you put this sauce on them right here. This is still reducing. It is soy sauce, water, sugar, and flour. I put rice flour in it. Fill it thickening. Oh, they're starting to pop up. Hmm, look at this.
Yay. It looks like the other dongle. Turn that one off. Okay, now that we have our dongle cooked, we have to do is skewer them. Okay, that's all you need. All right. Traditionally, at times they would have like five uh, dongles on a stick. One representing the head, arms, and feet. The spread the legs. But the skewer itself represents the body. So, all we need to do now is Put the sauce on. There we go. Dumbo. Let's try one. Love that little snack. Okay. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe and that bell icon for future videos. So, I'll be the same. Here's the lunch. What is it? Not sure. I think Hans called it a bongo. It tastes like rice.